Okay, the afternoon sunlight is fading, my son is playing video games and might yell really loudly, and yeah, it's, I have like 10 minutes of recording space available on my phone because I need to delete things, but uh, I want to play with this and I thought I would unbox it on camera, so I'm impatient, don't want to wait until tomorrow, so... Um, I recently decided to try out a new pen. I have been kind of playing with kind of the same pens for a while, the same brands that I really love. I actually have no reason to move away from the brands I like. I have a massive collection of Twisby pens, the Twisby Eco pens, and I'm adding to that kind of constantly, but, um... Yeah, I wanted to try this new pen, so I guess it kind of, let me back up a little bit. So what I needed to do, and this is a need for sure, um, I needed to buy a bottle of Diamine Spruce, which was from the Ink Vent from 2022. Um, it was my favorite ink in the Ink Vent that year, and I really love it, and it's the best scented ink that I've ever tried. Um, I really liked it and I wanted to buy it and uh, Goulet Pens had it in stock so I purchased it. So um, I thought I would add a few things to my cart and decided to um, to add a pen. So I purchased the Diplomat Magnum in the um, I think it's called, oh, I do have my invoice here, um, Prismatic Purple. So it's this one here, I think, on the box. Um, maybe? Yeah, so it's, um, I guess I can open it. Um, but I purchased that, and then with it, for free, came a 30 ml bottle of uh, Monteverde blue skies and I thought I saw somewhere that this was like a maybe a Goulet pens exclusive but I can't I don't see that anywhere on the box or the bottle itself so I could have been wrong about that so um, so I do have a 30 ml bottle of blue skies um, which I guess uh, did I I did sample out, actually, the inks already, so that looks like this. It's a pretty typical kind of royal blue. Um, it is not all that different from um, Twisby Midnight Blue, so um, yeah, uh, I, I liked it. Um, it writes nicely. Uh, I did also purchase a sample of the new Lamy Dark Lilac. Um, I, I don't have any experience with the previous version and all of the kind of controversy about that and people's opinions about that. Um, they're welcome to have those opinions. I think it's a beautiful color and I, I am not offended by it being a slightly different formulation than, um, the previous the previous limited edition so um let me go ahead and open this uh so i have not tried any diplomat pens before so this is a new experience for me it looks like it comes with a standard piston converter that looks like a standard okay Okay. Oh, it's clipped to this. Oh, that's nice. Okay. So, I like the box overall. It's simplistic. It's not an expensive pen. These, um, I don't think the invoice has the price on it, but it was around or under $20. So, it, it's definitely a dark kind of like a, a purple black sort of feel to it. The, um, the end of the pen is tapered, 
which is different. I guess I don't typically see that on the pens that I purchase. I want to quickly grab um, a pen to compare this to. So it's not the same color, but it gives me the same sort of vibes overall as the uh, Lemmy All-Star Petrol. Like it gives me the same sort of feel. Like they like they're meant to be like siblings, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Um, this is not inked up right now, but I just thought that it had the same sort of feeling when I was looking at it on the website and in person. I do also feel like they kind of go together. So it's got an interesting kind of clear capped um, finial on the top, and the clip is just kind of a basic it's kind of a wide clip um, with a squared end I'm trying to be really careful I have like a little blood blister on my finger I'm sorry if that is weird um I smashed it between some bricks when I was outside doing some landscaping so I think this snaps off but maybe it twists okay yes so it snaps on and off that's an interesting, um, that grip section is very, it's small, like this is a really petite kind of grip. Um, so for comparison, um, the uh, Caveco sport model pens, like I consider this to be uh, a petite pen to hold, and this is the... Uh, kind of the girth of that section is almost smaller and it it's like um it's got like a triangular sort of f s um, grip I don't know how to describe that so it's flat um in three areas uh, for comparison the Twisby Eco T models that are triangular they also have a slightly more pr pronounced triangular section. Um, but yeah, so this is, it's very, very, this is a really small, I feel like my fingers have to pinch together quite a bit. So this is kind of how close my fingers are when gripping this and then when gripping this and m my preference is Twisby Eco pens because I just really like them and so that one's it's definitely it's definitely very thin um, the nib is very nice uh, nothing spectacular going on there but it does it's very classy. It's got these kind of triangular lines going on right there. Um, and this just kind of detailing. It's like collar. I, I don't really know if there's a name for this, but it's kind of like a little collar here um, where the nib and feed meets the section. It's very nice. Um, I'm going to twist this is all plastic by the way it looks like it could be metal for sure it looks like it could be aluminum but it is all plastic the only metal pieces we have are the nib this little collar and this accent here and the clip so the clip um, And it does come with this, um, so this is not a cartridge. I'm actually surprised that it comes with one of these. <laughs> this is very interesting. So this is essentially an empty hollow cartridge. Um, what it can be easily used for is um, flushing your pen. In fact, the, the only time I've ever seen one of these is in um, pen cleaning kits. So essentially you would, uh, let's see if I have a, a syringe here, you would, to flush your um, feed, 
you would attach this to here and then you would attach this end to a syringe that's full of water or pen flush solution and it helps you force that cleaning solution through there um, but it's essentially it's a hollow ink cartridge uh, I've never seen one come with a pen um, that actually shocks me a little bit I, I don't know why they do that I'm not saying it's a bad thing it's just um that's what that is in case you didn't know um, but yeah, so this is a standard cartridge, or, um, excuse me, converter. Let me just snap it in there. Um, and let me quickly pick some ink. Since this is a standard cartridge and it doesn't hold a ton and I don't have to fill it all the way, um, I am going to use the Monteverde Blue Skies that came as the free gift with the pen, um, uh, just because... I might as well. I already have plans for what to do. Um, I want to put the spruce in a different pen and the Lamy Dark Lilac. I have that. I want to put in a different pen. So I'm going to put a little bit of this in here and write with it for a little while. And I'll write it until it dries up. And then I might have a better idea of um, one of my more exciting inks that I'd like to fill it with. So I will go ahead and try these together actually I need to get a um, paper towel or a tissue I thought I had one on the desk here and I did not okay so I typically like to start with the piston converters all the way up when I dip them into the ink um, unless I'm refilling because I feel like it just kind of expels all that air out and I get a better more even fill of ink when I do that okay so I'm only filling the uh, converter about halfway here I'm going to set the ink to the back Wipe that section, reinstall the, oh, oh, there is a ink cartridge in there. I didn't even notice that. Okay, <laughs> I will cover that in just a second. I could have installed that one, but it's okay. Okay, I think I got the section and that little collar all cleaned off. Okay, I do like that this, uh, the body of the pen has the same kind of flatness on three uh, sides here so that my pen does not move or roll away if I'm, you know, setting it down nice and gently. So we have a window that can help us kind of see our ink capacity. It's full now, well, full past that. I'm going to cap this really quickly here. Uh, yes, so it did come with an ink cartridge, which actually reminds me, some pens are designed in such a way, and this one clearly would work for that, that if it takes a short international cartridge, you can put um, a second cartridge in to just store uh, for later use uh, to refill your pen. Uh, because this was installed and this was in the barrel as well. So obviously they would both fit, um, but you definitely would need to take it out and you would not be able to have uh, one in there when you have a converter in there. So I'm going to set this aside. It does come with the ink uh, cartridge and the, um, I, I guess I just call it a hollow cartridge um, and it's for pen cleaning. That's what I use them for. Okay, so this is a medium nib. That is kind of tight on there and it should post pretty nicely. That does add a nice weight to it because of the clip being metal. Uh, we get a lot of extra added weight at the back of the pen. Uh, not too much, it's a nice balance. Okay, so This 
is a diplomat. Magnum, is that what it is? Yeah, Magnum. It writes really nicely. The medium nib, I feel like, is more similar to several broad nibs that I've tried. So I guess I would compare it more to, uh, if you like Twisby pens like I do, I would compare it a little bit closer to a broad nib from a Twis uh, Twisby's nib range. Um, let's see, I have a broad here and I think I might have a medium inked as well that I can compare to. Let me double check that that's actually a medium, but this one I'm pretty sure is a broad. Yeah, okay. So this one is the Twisby Eco. So this is definitely a little bit thicker of a line than what the Magnum Medium puts down, but not by very much. I feel like it's very close. Um, okay, so let me check my little book here. Yes, so that one was a broad nib, and the Rosso is a medium nib. So... That feels slightly, slightly finer than the medium from Diplomat. Um, but not by very much. They're, I, I feel like I would say that the Diplomat Magnum, the, the nib on here, uh, is right smack dab in the middle of these two pens that I have, wherein this is a broad nib and this is a medium nib. So... Yeah. It's a smooth writing experience. Very tiny, tiny bit of feedback, but pleasant feedback. I, I know that a lot of people like feedback. I know that a lot of people don't like feedback. I typically don't like feedback, but like very minor, minimal amounts. Definitely I can get on board with that. Oh, when did my... When did that happen? I guess I did not realize that I got ink all over myself. <laughs> That's okay. It does not matter. Um, but yeah. The amount of feedback is very minimal, very comfortable, and honestly quite nice. Okay. I like that. I like that not, uh, that nib a lot. It writes really nicely. Oh my. Okay. Yeah, definitely right in the middle of those, but quite like that. Very nice. Okay. I have no time left. It says that I, it's, my phone is flashing at me. It's going to, I'm going to have to delete something before I edit this. Otherwise I won't be able to save, save it, but okay. Thank you for watching this little unboxing new pen video. Uh, if you have any thoughts or suggestions about the Diplomat Magnum, this is my first Diplomat pen. Um, yeah, have you written with this pen? Do you enjoy it? Do you have thoughts about it? Um, do you have any other Diplomat pens that you quite like? Uh, let me know. And I will see you sometime soon. Bye. Okay, I deleted a little bit so that I could bring you a little bonus. Um, this was my first ever time ordering from Goulet Pens, and I gotta say, I liked it. I, I liked my order experience. They sent me a sticker that I just thought was so cute. Here it is. Look at that. This little chubby little hamster, and it's holding a Twisby Eco pen which is my favorite. I just, it's so cute. 
I really love that. So I'm tucking that away in my little folder of stickers, which I'm eventually going to put in this blank book here at the front of my passport traveler. <laughs> 